Hi there! I am so excited to be here today to show you our brand new range of Sistico colors. There is nine new shades in this collection as part of our Easter range and they are all absolutely stunning. So they are no shimmer matte colors but you can also use either a gloss top coat for a matte or no shimmer glass finish or our beautiful matte top coat for a true matte finish. Let's get into it. So the first color I want to show you today is our beautiful guava color. That's the one I'm wearing here myself. And what I've done is I've actually mixed it with a little bit of our satin as well in this nail to actually show you that you can also lighten it and also add in shimmer if that's what you want to do as well. So this here is guava. Jumping into our very next color, let's go with the beautiful grapevine. So this here is our grapevine shade. Really, really glassy, beautiful, dark, hints of purple, a little bit of navy in there too. And I've also got a little demo nail here with the glazed donut in the grapevine. So you can see the difference if you wanted to add a little bit of extra jazz to the color. So that's that one. Now I think we jump into maybe like a classic pastel. Let's do two classic. If you think pastel, you are thinking these colors. And that is the beautiful green tea shade, which is this one. And I've got a little nail here showing you what green tea looks like. And also I have green tea with an amber glaze. So that is like a mint, your typical pastel mint color. It is truly beautiful. And then another one you think of when you think of pastels has to be a pastel blue. So we have our stunning pastel blue color, which is called dusty blue. And I've also, so this is dusty blue on its own. And I've also mixed it up with a little bit of satin as well here to show you that if you wanted to add some shimmer, you absolutely can. So that's dusty blue in the pot. Real stunning pastel blue color. Then we've got something a little bit different. This color is a little bit difficult to describe. Obviously it has purples, it has pinks. And this is Berry Bliss. So that is Berry Bliss there. And again, with a little bit of glazed donut, you can really give Berry Bliss a stunning finish. This is a glazed top, and this is Berry Bliss on its own. That one is Berry Bliss. Let's keep going. Pink, you gotta have a pink. This is our classic beautiful pink whisper, and that is this one here. Really stunning color, and just a beautiful pink shade. So that is Pink Whisper. I've also mixed it also with a little bit of satin here if you wanted a slightly lighter color. That is the Pink Whisper. Then jumping into our next color, we've got our darker of the two yellows in our pastel collection. So this is Butter. And you can see here, slightly darker than the other, which is, sorry, I made a mistake. This is Bunny, slightly darker of the two yellows. I was just going to say the next one. And then we have Butter, which is a lighter of the two. So this one here is our Butter, and that is slightly lighter. I'll show you the pots next to each other so you can see. So this one here is Bunny, and this one here is Butter. So you can see Butter is slightly creamier, Bunny is slightly more yellow. And then we have a really interesting color. So this one here is Fern. Now Fern looks like this in the pot, but then when you actually look at it on the nail, the color sort of transforms. So this is Fern on your nail, and this is Fern in the pot. So it is a very, very nice glassy green shade. We've also got it glazed as well with the glazed amber. So that is Fern. So if you compare, say Fern, to green tea, 
that's those two next to each other. And I think that is all that I have to show you of the colors. The next thing I would love to show you is how to apply them. So they do follow a classic application with a twist. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. So what you're gonna do, I just basically have a sustainable nail here. There's a sustainable alabaster. And I just wanna show you the little twist that we put on our matte shades to apply. Just applying base coat to the nail, like so. And then we're gonna pop it under our lamp to set. Now that obviously is a very typical start to a classic application. So where it gets a little bit interesting is when we are actually going to be applying the powder. So let's apply our Berry Bliss for you today and I will show you how to do so. So you're gonna basically take your applicator and instead of brushing the powder on, and it, we do suggest that you use your mineral bond applicator, not your dual applicator for this, we're actually going to dab the powder into the nail. So very, very easy to do, and you're just gonna dab around the nail. Now you shouldn't feel any resistance. If it starts to feel sticky, you need to dip in and get some more powder. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're basically going to just be popping your powder onto the applicator, like so, and taking your nail and dabbing the powder over. So I'm just sort of turning the powder, uh, the applicator around and then grabbing some more powder. Dab, 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 dab. So it will not look even at this point. This is very much a range of powders that are trust the process. So at this point, you are not going to have an even looking nail, but with a few simple steps, you are going to get a glassy, beautiful color like I'm wearing. After you finish dabbing and you feel like you got, have a good coat over the nail, we're actually going to just very loosely hold the applicator and brush in one direction over the nail. And that will actually remove any of that excess powder and it will smooth out the color for you on the nail. Again, it might still not look perfect. Don't press down and don't dig in. A lot of the color will come together once you apply the top coat and you will be surprised that anything that's uneven or looks a bit odd will actually disappear. It's like magic. So just brushing over like so until you feel that you have done a good coat. And then we're gonna actually grab our gloss top coat and we're going to top coat over the nail. So basically just taking the top coat and this is where, like I said, the magic happens. The color just comes together beautifully and you won't see any of those previous seen lines or blemishes. See, look at that. That is how you apply the brand new range from Sistico, our matte pastels for Easter.